time we first, you know, I started writing to his lyrics, which was before I met him, I mean, the lyrics were very 1960s and very, you know, kind of a bit like traffic and, you know, the hole in my shoe and all pixies and fairies and the angel tree and that was one of the songs he wrote. Um, but, you know, I, I just liked the lyrics anyway. It was just um, a period of naivety. Well, look at my angel payment. Bernie Taupin and Elton John's early attempts at songwriting were considered unsuitable for Liberty Records, but caught the attention of music business impresario Dick James, who was impressed enough to sign the pair to a music publishing contract. The songs that we were originally told to write when we were signed to Dick James Music were for people like Tom Jones and Lulu and, and Scylla Black and people like the Hollies. And, and they already had a very successful team there called Roger Cook and Roger Greenaway. And, we just didn't, no one really covered those songs at all. There was a guy called Steve Brown who worked for Dick James and kind of aligned himself with us and said, why don't you guys go and just write what you want, you know? But when we came back with these songs, there was nobody to record them. You know, I mean, we weren't going to get them covered by anybody. And then the idea was brought up that, hey, you got a voice, why don't you sing them? And thus Elton John was born. Holy Moses, I've been removed. I've seen the spectre, he has been here too. Distant cousin from down the line, round of people who ain't my kind. thing is that when we first started writing, okay, I didn't really even know how to construct a lyric. I didn't know really about, you know, uh, v how many verses, chorus, what we, ha the structure of a song was totally alien to me. Which is why I think some of those forms are so great and they break out of the mold, because he's not just writing a verse and then a chorus and then a bridge and a verse. He was just writing down, you know, this thought that, you know, that Elton can take and interpret the way that he wants. When you have a, a page full of lyrics and there were no verse chorus, no verse chorus, I had to, you know, mark off which I thought should be, you know, and, and I pinched, you know, I moved lines around and, uh, and, and took them from bits of verse and put them in choruses and it was a bit like a jigsaw puzzle. Um, but it, I loved doing it, it was pretty easy. If I was a sculptor, but then again, no. 